welcome back to Inside DFW. Rage rooms are, well, all the rage, but we wanted to go behind the scenes and find out where they get all that stuff they smash. Well, it's all about recycling, apparently. Landon Wexler takes us there. In 2022, rage rooms, they're all the rage. Here in Fort Worth at Secret Chambers Rage Room, they've strapped theirs with bats, crowbars, and anything you could ever want to smash. And a lot more goes into it than what you might expect. Recently, I had the chance to unleash the beast, or whatever you'd call this, ah! on TVs, antiques, and more at Secret Chambers Rage Room. Adrian, you guys have clearly got this down to an art, the rage room. How do you make it possible? Mm. It's not just any one person, man. It's a team of people that go out there. We have to find all the things that we break in this room. We have to find the wall of weapons that we break in this room. I can tell you all about the process of it, but first, why don't I show you the rage cage? Oh, let's go. Folks, the rage cage. Tell me about this rage cage. Where did all this stuff come from? Oh man, the rage cage contents come from all over Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. We have a network of recyclers and junk haulers that instead of taking all these things to the landfill where it goes off and becomes nothing, it makes a stop here at the secret chambers where it can be reused into more fun for other people. You see here we have some uh, smashed up televisions and things like that. We've got giant alcohol bottles. We have cups. We have vintage retro projectors. I mean, we've even got video cassettes here. I mean, do any of you people out there on an HD TV even know what this is? No, no. No, the last time I watched a VHS was Blue's Clues, man. It's been a minute. Right, some of us learned to read, some of us learned to cry with VHS. Anyway. It's real talk, guys, real talk. Take a look at our stack of printers over here. So the printers are kind of an iconic item to the Rage Room experience. When you say Rage Room and you start describing the process of it to people, everyone's memory goes back to the 1990s film Office Space, which was made here in Dallas, Fort Worth. There's a vision of four guys in suits just taking a baseball bat to a printer in the field. So everybody wants a printer. You said there are multiple people with their jobs are to search for junk, just like smashable junk. Oh yeah, we get junk dropped off here, we have to go around and collect junk. We sometimes raid estate sales when the junk business is slowing down. Uh, but but every single weekend here and in our Arlington store, we managed to have enough breakables to supply an entire weekend's worth of bookings with nothing but smashing fun. Another major advantage of this is you guys are giving recyclable items new life. Oh yes, we are. So, so every now and again we have people that show up and they donate whole computers or they don't donate whole tablets and things like that. So part of what we do now also is we, we know kind of what to take apart and strip down for the valuable in components on the inside. And we actually use a lot of those computer parts in the escape rooms for, for anything that we need computers for. It saves us a ton of money too. So a lot of these things that people are throwing away to the curb or at least throwing away here in our presence gets used here. Wow. So the things that people may just be throwing out you almost consider them to think about you guys when they're throwing bigger items out. Oh yeah, we get we get we get private messages and phone calls all the time. People asking, can we drop off our printer, our TV? Last weekend's party bottle supply. Yes. The answer Bring is us yes. Your trash. Okay. But it's got to be smashable. We're not going to take your couch. No. What fun would it be to smash a couch? Oh. Uh -oh. We can put that. Folks, moral of the story, when you have smashable items, call Adrian, Secret Chambers Rage Room, give that smashable item new life. Adrian, you said we're gonna get a chance to smash a couple things right now? <laughs> Dude, you're about to smash a lot of things right now.